Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons, and we're specifically going to talk about um, what the war in Europe, Vladimir Putin, Putin's war in Europe, uh, means for the D and D community. I'm going to give a trigger warning right here. If you are a dungeon master who thinks that Dungeons and Dragons is a game, and you're seeking to make a fun experience for your players, and that's what you think Dungeons and Dragons is about and what it's for. I would cut out of this video immediately. There's tons of other great content. Should go over to uh, Dungeon Craft or um, I would say Nerd Immersion. They have great content for you that's not going to challenge you and is and is not. Well, today we're literally going to be talking about death, mayhem, consequences, and hard decisions for Wizards of the Coast and what I think they should do. And I'm going to be asking what you think, right? That that. There are a ton of Dungeon Masters who don't want any or any real-world impacts to be mentioned near Dungeons & Dragons, even though real-world impacts very much exist. All right, so I'm giving you a trigger warning now. I'll give you five seconds. Okay, if you're left, let's proceed. All right, so today I'm going to ask... Um, I'm going to present some facts, and then I'm going to ask the question. So, uh, to my knowledge, from the research I did, okay... Um, Dungeons and Dragons, 5th edition, Wizards of the Coast currently has the ability, has already, and has the ability to can print and distribute the three core traditional hardbacks for 5e, the DMG, the PHB, and the Monster Manual in Russian. Conversion was done in 2018, and since that time, they have, they, they to my, from what I found, they've already distributed the game in, in Russian, okay? And... Um, and you have the ability to play with Russian, play Dungeons and Dragons with these Russian books. Should so? Here's the question: Should Wizards of the Coast continue to print and distribute Russian DMGs, PHBs, and Monster Manuals for the Fifth Edition? Um, it's an incredibly difficult question. Now, why would the question even come up? Well, Vladimir Putin attacked Ukraine and extended a war into Europe. In, on February 24th of 2022. Since then, the worst of I'll just skip to the worst of it. CNN said flat out that they had evidence that, that there was evidence that Russian troops were shooting, that Vladimir Putin's troops were shooting Ukrainian civilians in the back and burying them in mass graves. It, like that's, that's mustache twirling maiden on the uh on the tracks villainy like uh, that like that's it's car it's it's like cartoon villainy it's it's villainy at a level that it vladimir putin has per personified evil in himself right and th the whole world is looking right and so the biggest one right now the biggest the biggest organization that is looking at this in my humble opinion and doing something real is mcdonald's they're like we stopped a month ago they stopped doing anything in their stores in, in Russia. You couldn't get uh, you know, a Big Mac anymore. Now, they have announced we are selling every property, breaking our relationship with our franchisees, and we are, um, and we are de arching every single uh, McDonald's in Russia. And the reason why, okay, so they gave some corporate speak. In my humble opinion, the reason they're doing this is they know, they know. You sell a Big Mac in Russia right now, you're co-signing what Russia is doing. You're saying, hey, we see you, more power to you. You know, we, we see what, we're, we're fine with what you're doing, right? And every company that does business there, it, you know, every, you know, um, fast food company that does business there has to make this choice. And they're like, if we keep doing business with Vladimir Putin's nation right now, we're co-signing this horror show that he has going on, this war in Europe. And it, it it's too much, right? Like, they don't want to... Like, McDonald's does not, in my humble opinion, does not want to connect civilians being shot in the back and buried in mass graves with their with their product. Right? Like, and they're like, we're out. We're done. We're cutting it off, right? Wizards of Coast has the same... same Has exactly the same commercial issue, right? If they continue to print and distribute these you know, Russian, um, DMGs, PHBs, and Monster Matters, in my humble opinion, there are distinct number of peoples who will say, by you doing that, taking that commerce action, you are co-signing what they're doing. 
and our, our president is saying the same. He's saying like you can't do business. This this is a horror. You know, this is a personified evil villain in our midst, and we cannot, cannot, like reward him with with general commerce. Right? We, we have to do what we can. Right? And so Wizards of the Coast has this has this decision now. I'm going to give you what my opinion is on what they should do. Yes, 100% they should stop printing it. And the reason why is I think Vladimir Putin should be punished for what's happening, right? And I had this strong belief at the beginning of this that the Russian people, this wasn't the Russian people's war, right? But we're going into months of this. And there are a lot of signs that the Russian people do have a very good idea what is happening. And the reason why is Absolutely. Vladimir Putin has shut down a lot of, uh, you know, uh, media outlets and things like that. But he can't control everything. And there's literally millions of um, cell phones there. And the odds that the Russian people at the macro level don't understand what's happening seem smaller and smaller every day. Right. And there seems to be a mounting evidence that this is what the Russian people want. That is incredibly horrifying. They have taken no action to... Um, to put in a leader that will end this war, right? And make them amenable to being a global uh, citizen again, right? <clears throat> so I don't think, I don't want to do this to punish the Russian people, but every day there seems to be mounting evidence that this isn't Putin's war and that it's the Russian people's war. We haven't reached proof of that, but at minimum, we simply have to just tell the Russian people with every, every you know, nonviolent way we can, you can't keep doing this. You can't keep shooting civilians in the back and burying them in mass graves. That's not acceptable. We don't allow any nation in the world to do that now. And we're not going to reward that with American capitalist commerce. You're done, right? And I think Wizards of Coast should end printing of all Russian, printing and distributing of all Russian DMGs, PHBs, and MMs for 5th edition until the war in Europe is over. That's my humble opinion. What's yours? Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing. And have a wonderful millennium.